Today we're going to make some Dutch oven pizza. So we have to start with a pizza dough. What you need for that is one package of yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, two-thirds of a cup of warm water, one and two-thirds cup of flour, three-quarter teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of oil, and one and a half tablespoons of cornmeal. Here we've mixed the water and the sugar and the yeast together. You want to make sure that the water isn't too warm or you'll kill the yeast. And you don't want it to be too cool or it won't activate the yeast. So we'll let this sit for about 10 minutes until it gets foamy and that tells you that the yeast are, are active and we will get the proper rise. The yeast is all foamy and ready to go. We have our flour in the bowl. We'll add the salt. And we'll add the yeast. And mix it up until it's mixed well and it starts pouring away from the edges of the bowl. two teaspoons of oil and use vegetable oil uh, we're using extra virgin olive oil mix that in there it's a nice little dough ball Just knead it for about five minutes. You can add more flour if it's too sticky. Fold it over, push with your heels with your hands. Just keep doing that for about five minutes. And uh, then we'll call it dough. And there's our finished ball of dough. So what we'll do next is get the Dutch oven. We're gonna put some oil in the bottom of the Dutch oven. All right, we got the coals going now. A little newspaper, a little oil, coals on top, in the chimney. Coals are ready, nice and hot. All right, so we'll put some oil on everything. Next time we're gonna preheat the oven. Using the 14 inch. Put the oil in, then we'll put it over the fire. That way it'll open up all the pores and suck the oil in and uh, keep anything from sticking to the bottom. cooks in a hot oven, so we're using a 14 inch oven, so we need probably 18 or 20 coals on the bottom, and probably 35 or 40 on top. The oven right on top like that. like that for now. We're going to make a veggie pizza. Of course you can put whatever kind of toppings you like on yours. 
we have some uh, mushrooms, bell peppers, and onions sliced up, some fresh basil. We have some homemade spaghetti sauce, which I'll show you how to make someday. And that's some olives and cheese and garlic. It smells good, and we haven't even started cooking yet. Then we have our cornmeal to put in the bottom to keep it, to help it a little more from sticking to the bottom. Alright, here's our dough. I'm just gonna stretch it out, make it try to make it a little bit bigger than the 14 inch pan. Obviously I'm not Italian. Alright, we got our crust ready. Take a little bit of the cornmeal and sprinkle it on the bottom. Crust in there. Everything's better with garlic. I'm going to put some of the spaghetti sauce on there. Do the cheese first. it up. We'll come back in about five minutes. Since pizza doesn't take long to cook, we'll come back in about five minutes and spin and spin and see how it's going. Alright, in about five minutes we're going to spin and spin. I can smell it already, so that means good things are happening. wait for another five minutes and then we'll check it. Alright, it's been about ten minutes. Or five minutes since we, since we turned and turned. So we'll give a look and see if we need to cook it anymore. That looks pretty darn good, but I think I'm going to let it go for another five. Five more. Alright, it's been another five minutes, so I'll take a look. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Crust is brown. 
bottom looks good. I think we're going to call that a pizza. All right, there's our beautiful pizza masterpiece. Smells good, looks good, must be good.